Hi, welcome to Chem with Chem. In this session, we're going to be working question six of chemistry paper two from the January 2019 sitting. If this is your first time to the channel, then please check out all the other materials that are here. Like if you find value, and of course, consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you'll be notified each time new material is added. Let us just get right into it. Question six, part A. Carbon is found in the form of diamond and graphite and is a main component in many naturally occurring compounds such as organic matter and carbon dioxide. State one way in which diamond differs physically from graphite. Right, so we should be thinking allotropes, allotropes, allotropes. So one way in which um, diamond is different from graphite Let's just get that down. So it's all in the appearance, not just the appearance, but graphite is a black solid while diamond is a sparkly glass like hard solid. Sparkly things, right? Part two, state one similarity between diamond and graphite other than they both contain carbons. Okay, so similarity, they, they both have high melting points. So we could say they have high melting points. Could also say that they are giant covalent structures or they have giant molecular structures. We could also say that they're, they're solids. All right, so we have a few options there. Part B, carbon can react with a limited supply of oxygen to form carbon monoxide, which can negatively affect human health. One, Write a balanced chemical equation, including state symbols, to show the formation of carbon monoxide. All right, so this is carbon solid, burns in oxygen, but limited supply, and that would give us carbon monoxide, CO, which is a gas. And of course, we would have to balance. We have two oxygen on the left, one on the right, so we put a two on the right to make the, the two oxygen on the left, one on the right. So we put a two in front of the CO to ensure that the, the oxygens are balanced. In doing so, we, have, we now have two oxygen on the right and one on the left. So we put a two in front of the carbon there and we're fine. Part two, state two effects of carbon monoxide inhalation on the human body. All right, so we get severe dizziness or severe headaches. Dizziness. Drowsiness. And it can result in heart attack. So many times when there are fires, it's not that persons would just, you know, die from burning. Uh, most of the times it's um, carbon monoxide poisoning, which causes them to become unconscious. And then because they, they're knocked out or they fall down, they end up being burned, you know? So tests normally show when they do the, um, the post-mortem um, analysis, they normally find that, you know, they look at the cause, manner, mechanism of death, you realize that, you know, it's not really the burning that really killed them. It's really, they would have been dead before or it would have been as a result of carbon monoxide and poisoning. You know, they would find cherry red blood and all of that, but right. You'll go deeper into that when you do your, when you go to mid school or you do forensics. Part C, 
Jamal wants to prepare and collect a sample of carbon dioxide gas in the laboratory using calcium carbonate. Part one, write a balanced chemical equation including state symbols for the laboratory preparation of carbon dioxide gas from calcium carbonate. So calcium carbonate is a solid. HCl equals, that's an acid. That would give us calcium chloride, that's CaCl2, carbonate. So this is equals carbonate plus acid will give us salt, water, H2O liquid, and carbon dioxide, CO2, gas. So now to, to balance. We have two Cl on the right, one on the left. So we put that two in front of the HCl. And that should do it. That should give us three marks. Part two for three marks. Draw a clearly labeled diagram to show the arrangement of the apparatus and materials that could be used in the laboratory to prepare and collect the carbon dioxide gas. All right, so we're using the, the reagents that were mentioned above, calcium carbonate and the HCl. All right, so a few things to bear in mind that will determine the type of apparatus we use. Carbon dioxide is denser than air, so we'd have to use the upward display. Um, we'd have to use a technique that would result in the upward displacement of air. It's soluble in water, so it's best if it's not collected over water. All right. And in terms of collection as well, we we don't want to we don't want to call, we don't want to dry it with calcium oxide because calcium oxide is basic. Carbon dioxide is an acidic gas. It's an acid anhydride. So it would react with the calcium oxide. So that will kind of govern how we go about collecting what we use for drying and the type of delivery. So let's see if we can get the apparatus um, on this. All right, so let's see if we use black for drying. All right. So this is our flask where the reaction is going to take place. Judge the straightness of my lines or the lack thereof. It comes down to the device. But of course, on flat people, it pencil and rulers, your, your device, your diagram should be neat. All right, so here we're going to have marble chips or what we call calcium carbonate. So marble chips go here, marble chips. Then of course, this is a thistle funnel. We've seen this before. So this is a thistle funnel, T-H-I-S-T-L-E. It's a thistle funnel and eight cell is contained here and there's a stopcock so we can open to release. So we would need a delivery tube now. And then we would definitely need to close the system so the gas doesn't escape. So that's your rubber bone. So our delivery tube will go down into, into a U-tube. 
not the medium that you're watching this on. But you can see why they call it a YouTube. It looks like the letter U. All right, so this is our YouTube. Then we're going to seal, of course. So this is sealed here. We don't want the gas to escape. And then we'll have another delivery tube. Space is a bit limited for the drawing, at least based on what I'm using. So this delivery tube goes down into our gas jar. As the carbon dioxide goes down, air is displaced up. So we say it's the, it's the upward displacement of air. But the delivery of the carbon dioxide is actually downward because it's more dense than air. As it goes down into the gas jar, then the air would be displaced going up. So we call it the upward displacement. But the delivery is downward. Delivery of the carbon dioxide is downward. All right. So in this YouTube, we would have anhydrous, anhydrous calcium, CaCl2, calcium chloride. That's our drying agent for the for the CO2 because we we don't want to use calcium oxide, which would react with the CO, CO2. So this is our CO2. This is our gas jar. What else? Of course, these are delivery tubes. Okay, let's see if we can get the writing more legible. All right, that should be it for three marks. Part three, for the last mark to make it up to 15, state one use of carbon dioxide as it relates to the beverage industry. All right, and we love this. It's used to give or to make the fizz in drinks. We know about fizzy drinks, carbonated beverages. That, um, that, that comes about because carbon dioxide would have been pumped into the drink under pressure. So that's what gives it the fizz. And you know, we love the fizz, but it's a nice way to mask the sugar that is actually there. So if you were to shake up the soda, cause the CO2 to be released and you know, the drink becomes flat, then you would get a, a better idea of how, I don't want to say insipid, but how much sugar is actually present. So it's a marketing strategy that, that has been employed over the years to really hide the sugar we're distracted with the fizz. We get caught up with the fizz. Kids love the fizz. Everybody loves the fizz. But it, it really hides um, how much sugar is there. But anyway, let's just answer the question. So it's used to give. To give the fizz in drinks or in carbonated beverages. So that's CO2. We don't necessarily need to put this part here. That would give us 15 marks. So please state in the comments. Um, how much you got out of the 15. I hope you're sharpening up your skills. Remember to like, to share the video, and if you have not subscribed, to do so, and to turn on post, post notification by hitting the bell so you're updated each time new material is added.
So this has been another session on Kim with Kim. See you in the next video.